how how do you see uh, the world of blockchain uh, from a career perspective given the fact that there are not as many degrees uh, that would, so for example if i want to become an electronics engineer i can practically go to any college right uh, but with blockchain things are not as as straightforward um how do you see this field how do you how do you feel people can get started um i think it's a interesting point that you ask which is uh, there are obviously lack of structured courses for you to learn uh, blockchain and i don't think that this void would be filled um, anytime soon whether we see what happened with the uh, digital marketing marketing uh, whether we see what happened with the sort of first decade of game development uh, or seo or influencer marketing or how to become an influencer i think where um, careers and technology changes really fast uh, the structured learning part actually takes some time so uh, like it is the case for blockchain as well we do have a lot of online resources um, i think the world is definitely getting much and much flatter and smaller in terms of sharing expertise and knowledge and i think with the entire decentralization movement as well as community building movement which is really behind it i think the best way to learn about blockchain careers knowledge whether that's development marketing how to become a content creator how to start a dao uh, what that all means is definitely to be part of a active community and learn uh, from there i don't think people should wait for a structured course to actually come in to kick start this journey uh akshat uh, a couple a couple of words on mm-hmm. on this influencer economy and and also uh, the content creator part i think it might see it it might be directly uh, or indirectly related to the uh, blockchain field right uh it's, it's not technically him as having a job in in the blockchain field but more or less become an integral part or you stand a chance to become an integral part of the industry uh, within that geography if you are like a regional language creator for example right what are your thoughts mm-hmm. around that and and what do you think rather uh, where do you think are we heading uh, from that perspective as we see more and more creators mm-hmm. jump on to platforms like youtube and and try and build their youtube channels as well as other social media platforms not just from a hobby perspective but they are looking at it as a oh i want to start my own business so it's kind of the new small business uh, format right so uh, folks basically the point regarding uh, the influencer slash uh, creator economy is or other i'll just restrict to speaking about building a presence on social media right and especially personal branding this is a highly highly winners take all market okay so basically what happens here is that if you are in top 1% right it's like playing cricket right so if you are a very good cricketer right if you are in top 1% you are playing international cricket matches you are playing state level or you are playing ranji trophy or if you are playing ipl then yes uh, that's a viable career path if you are just playing cricket as a hobby then it's a really bad career path from that angle and honestly speaking and this is not a message to dissuade anyone from creating content definitely do try experiment see if you enjoy this but it's a it's a very lonely journey right because you have to stay in front of your camera write scripts what not and at the start there is just no one right i mean for a very long period of time uh, and you would there will be like substantial years when you might not be making any money from it right so it's a very lonely journey to begin with right that's one uh, so it's not for everyone that's the message that i want to give out right second is that it's a winner take all take all type of a market right where you know top if you are not in top 3 4% creators then you will struggle right from this angle so that is my take this is not i'm not speaking from a intent of dissuading anyone from trying out definitely do try out but i just want to give out the message because people only see the rosy side of it right that you know what people are getting like so much traction making youtube videos this that yes because they might have been at it for a very long period of time or they have some kind of competitive edge youtube is not easy anymore right i mean that's what i would say because there is just a lot of competition now right on that space so, yeah. 